Those two cases were fairly straightforward because there was only one type of signal which flows across the port. But now looking at this start-stop button, uh, we have a slightly more complicated situation uh, because it has uh, one flow port associated with it, but actually there are two different types of signal um, that can uh, go across that flow port. One is this thing called the SIG timer start, and the other is this, this uh, second signal here called SIG timer stop. So now we're going to describe a model element that encompasses both of those. So I'm going to add one of these things called a flow specification. And the flow specification is a component that allows us to bundle up a number of, a number of these signals and uh, describe non-atomic flow ports, that is flow ports that allow one more than one type of signal. Um, so we need to uh, join all these things together. I'm, I'm going to do that by adding some flow properties. So I've given it a, a similar name there. And as you can guess, I'm going to set the type. And I'm going to set the type to SIG timer start. So there we are, we've set the first of those um, flow properties uh, to the first of the signals we're interested and now I'm going to add a second flow property. and set its type and there we are I've created a component here which bundles up both of the signal types ready to add to the um, specification of the flow port on the start stop button and that's really the final step over here on this start stop button I can now set its type and I'm going to set the type of this port here to the flow spec timer So that flow port now is defined to enable um, types of this flow specification and the flow specification represents both of those two types of signals. So I've now got a more sophisticated um, port definition.